But I think decolonizing democracy to me, you know, is um, being involved in a process that was created, uh, you know, to, to keep us uninvolved, right? Um, it's making sure that the people that we're electing into offices are aware of treaties in our area. You know, here in Chicago, we have two treaties that cover uh, cover the Chicagoland area. That's the Treaty of Greenville and the Treaty of Chicago, right? And so making sure when we elect those peoples into office that they know those treaties and they know, you know, Native people's treaty rights. Uh, but that's also making sure that we're uh, voting, right? We're going out and we're voting and we're participating in, in our, our current democracy, right? Um, and so that's making sure that you know, Native people have a voice in that, you know, historically, they don't want you to vote. And so when you don't go out and vote, or when you don't participate, you know, we're giving them what they want. People have, you know, some people have reasons why they don't vote. And, you know, it's important not to dismiss those, uh, because everyone's opinions and feelings are, are validated. That's, I think that's part of being um, indigenous, right, is making sure that we're all heard. Uh, democracy, I think, is an indigenous practice. Uh, mm -hmm. And we can take what we currently have, um, this Western idea of uh, democracy, and indigenize it and make it work for our own communities.